Laura Jordan, so lovely to meet you and you're the creator of stylesavvy.ie and you threw in the towel, you were a teacher. Yes I did. And you decided to create your own blog and your own um, styling business as well. Uh, one of the tools that you used to do that was social media, so can you tell me about that? Yeah, for sure. We started off as a .ie, it was a website based business, so it was very important to use social media to drive people to a website. You must do that, you can't expect people to come across it organically, so we used various platforms to do that and again we had to kind of decipher our material, divide it up and see where is the best place to put different content and different posts at different times. So when you're starting up your own business, it's obviously a very daunting, kind of scary thing to do. Yeah. So did you look into uh, getting any qualifications in with social media and figuring out how to use it to the best of your ability? Well, when I started off, I actually built this business from an eight-week evening course. In the really? Yeah, in the Institute of Design, which is ironically where I now teach. But that's all I had in my back pocket. And I did a couple of start networks and a couple of building your business events. But really, there is no substitute for looking yourself, going on these platforms, engaging with them, even a little bit at the start. The courses are great, but you need to engage yourself. And would you have been checking out lots of other stylists and kind of seeing how they're doing things on their own websites and how they use social media? Yeah, of course. And I think that's really important. You've got to use social media to keep an eye on others in the industry. You can't just bury your head in the sand and say, well, I'm doing this and that's, what, then that's the most important thing. Keep an eye on competitors as well as getting ideas and looking even outside of Ireland. For me, I kind of took a bit of a, a risk in that I built it as a brand rather than my name on it and I, I did that deliberately so that I could build it up to a, a larger platform and to have you know people working with me and for me which I thought was, was always a plan for, from the get-go to really spread it wider throughout Ireland. And what's your biggest platform? I would say in terms of people who are interested in the fashion industry it is likely to be Instagram but for me I have to look at my client base and the clients who book through me tend to be Facebook users so you have to kind of keep an eye on where your money comes from your revenue but also where the people who are interested in what you do who are interested in the fashion industry as a whole so they're kind of your two-pronged approach. People can't actually get careers in social media so tell me about that. Full-time social media managers are highly sought after particularly in any industry which is media based and to be honest to have a business in this day and age you must have a profile online someone to manage that carefully is crucial and it's a huge asset to a business what kind of skills are necessary for you to have a career in social media I found organisation is really important, a certain amount of creativity, understanding the platforms as we mentioned, but really to know the tone. So the tone that goes onto each different platform, having a little bit of humour, but at the same time getting a professional message across. So what is the best advice I suppose that you could give somebody who'd like to start their own business and of course social media is a tool out there to use? I think the most important thing is to know your platform. So to be aware of what you use different platforms for. Facebook is a party, that is, it's very casual, that's the reason it's there. Instagram is a photo gallery it's all image based Twitter is a conversation and Snapchat is real-time unedited content and you have to know what the difference is between them and from there tailor your content accordingly